Akali has been destined to join the Order since her youngest years. Her mother, the previous Fist of Shadows, did not even accept the possibility for another candidate. Her daughter was to join the Kinku as soon as her training was complete and to serve until her death. As soon as the girl was able to form a fist, her training had begun, and Akali's mother was not a forgiving instructor. She would almost torture her daughter with the same exercises over and over again until she could perform them perfectly. Her mother's discipline was unforgiving. Failure was not an option, and neither was backing out. The Fist of Shadows would always follow a simple principle. We do that which must be done. Akali was introduced into the Kinku Order at the tender age of 14, when her mother finally deemed the girl worthy of the prestigious mantle. At this age, she had already surpassed most students, being able to cut a swinging chain with her palm or break a stone block with no preparation. No one was doubting the thought that she would soon succeed her mother as the Fist of Shadows. Her position has put her through many tests, but her duties often involve tasks that are considered morally questionable. But due to her strict upbringing, Akali never felt any shame from her actions. Her mother has always taught her to be proud of her position, and Akali never forgot about it. The Fist of Shadow strikes from the cover of death itself. Do not impede the balance. Kennen is one of those unusual instances where the Kinku Order accepts candidates from other races, denying his exclusivity to merely humans. Born in the Yordle capital of Bandal City, it is said that Kennen's first living moments defined him as the Yordle he is today, bolting first from the womb of his mother and then secondly from the midwife who delivered him. It was clear this Yordle was bound with energy. His parents thought he would outgrow the boundless energy as he grew older, but as he began to mature, his energy found no limits and was matched only by his unnerving speed. He remained unnoticed or at least uncaught despite his astonishing gifts, until one day, on a dare, he ran straight up the great outer wall of the Placidium. Word of this prankster's talent soon began to spread until it reached the ears of the Kinku. Quickly and quietly he was brought in for an audience. It soon became apparent that the role of the Heart of the Tempest suited him rather fittingly, where he would frenetically be delivering both the word and the punishments of the Kinku across the realm, sometimes with rather questionable motives. Now he works with his fellow ninjas, Shen and Akali, to enforce the balance of Valoran. This hallowed pursuit has unsurprisingly led the Triumvirate to the fields of justice. The heart of the Tempest beats eternal, and those beaten remember eternally. And that's all I have for you on the Kinku Order of Ionia. Remember the previous episode covered Shen and Zed, so if you missed out on that, you can find it in the playlist link at the top of the video right now. I did obviously have the plans to stick to Ionia for the next few episodes, but with Halloween a couple of days away, I think I'm going to have to bend that slightly to get the Shadow Isles episodes all done for you in time. There will be three videos, all coming out on Thursday at different times during the day, so stay tuned for them, which also gives me a little more time to sort out this new little video project I'm working on as well for the Master Yi episode. Remember to leave a like and subscribe and leave your suggestions and feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, I'll see you next time.